This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clarissa Trading Frank. It's approximately 8.41 p.m. Fashion Relate New York time. 11 minutes late, to be honest. Uh, on November 20th, 2019, this session will be recorded, uploaded to the Google YouTube channel for viewing by all other members and free trial subscribers. And anyone out there with the internet connection who would like to know a little bit more about the market and hopefully make some money. Um, on that note, we shall begin. Full disclosure, this is purely for financial education, not for any solicitation or advice. I hope you guys have access to the screen, which you don't yet, and right now you do. And you're seeing live <clears throat> Globex futures trading. Right now, futures are down approximately 16 points. Not a lot, but still, something I don't like. But uh, you will uh, certainly know the reasons why. On that note, uh, we shall begin. Overall, we had a pretty terrific day. We had a bunch of big winners, uh, a couple of losers, uh, reversal trades and such, um, and um, a couple of the swing trades really went through the roof. But uh, that's, an, that's what trading is all about. So the reason why the markets are down right now is a simple reason. And we have our uh, good loyal member, new member Dominic here uh, online. Hopefully some other people show up. It really doesn't matter to us or to me. Um, is the fact that the U.S. Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, which is really equally, which is like doubly stupid if you ask me, um, put out a bill out there against China regarding Hong Kong. Don't want to get into that too much. You can you guys can Google it and read it yourself. So bottom line is uh, China's not going to be happy about that. You know, it's almost like um, we have huge protests here from whatever group, and uh, and they're burning buildings and stuff. And then some other country comes in and they say, you know what, uh, they are correct. We want to support them. So it doesn't work like that, right? So think about common sense for a minute. So in the meantime, what we do here at Clueless Day Trading, we try to figure out like how much the market's going to fall, where they're going to rise from, and that's exactly where our power lies. And we've been very successful in doing that. Right? That's what we do. So the politics and the global mac, uh, the global uh, 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 drama, uh, political drama that's been played out is something that we have to deal with. So the Hong Kong bill passed by uh, the Congress and the Senate and sent to President Trump's desk for him to sign by Thursday, which is tomorrow, it's not good. It's not good. You try to cut a trade deal that's going to benefit both countries, and in the meantime, you smash your opponent or the other country, in this case China, you, you smash their heads against the wall. You know, it doesn't work like that. But hey, that's democracy, that's what we have here, and that's what's going on. That's the reason why the futures are down 16 and a half points. In the meantime, President Trump visited the Apple factory uh, manufacturing plant for, uh, I shouldn't say manufacturing, assembly plant for the iMac Pro, uh, which is a very expensive machine, by the way, given my son uses the iMacs, I should know. Um, and he said great things. He said Apple would be exempted from the tariffs and all that stuff. Apple was up a buck and a half. And right now it's back to even for a close. So saying all that, what can we expect tomorrow? I have no freaking clue, but we can look at the charts and then figure out what can happen. So here are the E-mini futures right now, and we are in a major consolidation. I did mention that this might happen. I said that on the last strategic webinar, and you guys should know that very well, that we would be testing the levels that we broke out from. And so what are the levels that we broke out from? This is one, once, sorry. Right there, right there. We actually went up there. Every one of my levels that I structure on my charts will be met, up and down. Now, remember one thing before I go any further. 
Thanksgiving, which is almost like the holiest holidays, right? Is November 28th. So whatever happens in the next couple of days, we are going to bounce hard into November 28th. I have not been wrong on that for years. So you have to be ready. Cash levels on the side, dollar cost averaging, selective trade alerts, and such. And the simplest way to play it is the SPY, the spies. Not the Russian spies, not the Ukrainian spies, the SPY, S&P 500 stock. Okay? So what levels do we break out from? One, right here. Two, right here, the neckline breakout. Another one, a reversal right here. So we're not there yet. We are in this range. So as a tactical traders, we think differently. We're not happy. We're not sad. Just look at charts. So we have a cluster here when most of you were very confused. And I told you guys we'd break out. And we did. So that's the cluster we are back in again. So don't be confused, don't be sad, don't jump off your first floor window or your chair, don't fall on your dog or cat, just relax. This is the level, if it holds, we are going to bounce again. It's called pattern recognition. Many of you recognize a lot of patterns, but maybe not technical patterns. Well, I do. So this is the level, and this is where we are right now. Right there, which was back on the 13th of November, not too long ago, not years ago, a week ago, and this is where we are back again. Okay? So chill. Things are getting pretty oversold. This is obviously short term. We're going to look at some longer term charts too. And this is going to determine a lot of movements that happens on our stocks. Now, there are specialized situations I'll show tonight which have nothing to do with China, Tiffany, Medco, AYX, ABMD, Boeing, which will probably fall tomorrow but just because the market's down, if the market stays down. Features the noun 17. Now, I do want to reiterate one point here. President Trump is a great business person. But when he speaks on both sides of his mouth, oh, I love the Chinese president. Everything's going well. And the next minute, I don't like the way they're doing things. It is frigging annoying. It makes us lose money. It makes the market fall billions of dollars. It's no good. Stick to one line. It's either going good or bad. Now, Chinese are not some easy guys to deal with either. I mean, talk about Chinese government. So it's a blame on both sides. One minute, cut low saying everything is great. We're cutting a deal. Market goes up to 300 points. And the next minute, it's like, oh, I don't like the way they're doing things. You cannot, I can't, I hate that garbage coming out of the government. I don't care what government it is. I don't care what political affiliation you are. That is bullshit. That's all I gotta say. Okay? It's bullshit because it makes our lives difficult. Yeah, we got some great winners on individual stocks and this and that. And then on a bunch of them with great setups, and then the profits just go. Anyone who doesn't make me money, i.e. the government or whatever, I don't like. So right now, I don't like the way the government is playing the game. Because they are still the government. And deep down, you can know the same. So we're back to volatility. Futures are down 17. So very simple. 
This is the chart we got to follow all week. Down here, 30.75. We don't want to break that. We do not want to break that. Let's move on to a longer term chart. This is the same chart. This is the big white channel. And this was the big gap that we held and bounced off from. Back on the beginning of the month. Back on the 6th. Yep. Okay. So is it possible that we can fall all the way down here to 3064? That's another um, 30, that's another um, 240 points on the Dow. We wouldn't like that, but it'd be a major retest. And I believe the market should bounce from there. Do we really want to kill everybody's Thanksgiving uh, shopping spree? Almost $700 billion worth of shoppers because of some BS politics from the Congress and the Senate, Central President Trump's desk supporting a bunch of wild Hong Kong protesters. And anyone who's from Hong Kong who uh, might be on my service, I do apologize, but I think they're a bunch of jerks. Okay? It's my opinion. I think I know. I think I know a little bit. They need to chill out. So there, we need to hold this stuff. Um, in the meantime, we're pretty getting pretty oversold on a short-term basis. No question about it. We're just showing you some bigger pictures. Let's take a look at the uh, at the weekly. I mean, sorry, the one hour chart, and that's going to be a little bit more less dramatic. So the dramatic part comes into play again. And I did mention that in previous webinars that we would probably test these levels. I wouldn't want it to happen, but it's happening, and that is the level. And that's why, if you notice, and Dominic, you might attest to it because you are a uh, a true follower of the Twitter feed. Did I mention to buy any spy calls today or puts? I didn't see any, no. Exactly. Because individual selective stocks, yes. Spy calls or puts, I didn't. So the big line is at 3063. You can see it very clearly. And the big red line is at 3053. And the gap fill where the real action happens is at 3020. 3020 is a lot way down, okay? It's quite a bit down. 3020 is 70 points down. 70 handles down on the E-minis or the S&P 500. <clears throat> Converting it to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, that's 560 points. Can it happen? Anything can happen. And I'll certainly take advantage of it. We wouldn't like that, okay? Even long swing positions will vacillate like crazy for no reason. Even though we're gonna get a couple of buyouts, Tiffany, ABMD, AYX, GH. We just gave you the ultimate stock KRTX from 54, went to $152. I just coached a new member who actually bought a couple of shares of that. And I said, congratulations, dude. That is the way to do it. Balls to the wall. Did any of you do it? I don't know. Did you buy a couple of shares of um, KRTX when I told you guys to buy the 54 house, Dominic? I did not. House? I know you're on listen only. You can type in. Okay, so that new member who just joined a couple, uh, like a couple of days ago, bought a couple of shares. He made a nice amount. I bought a couple of shares. I didn't buy a thousand shares. I bought a little bit, and the thing went up a hundred points from what I told you guys to buy it. So please, if you ever want to scream at me, I say shut the f up. 
Okay, seriously. Think about it. Those are wild moves. And it happens. It happens. So if you're a real trader, you can buy 10 shares at 50, that's 500 bucks, and then sell out at the 150 or 140 or 130 or 112 or 100. Please. My hat's off to the new member who got it because that shows that he's going to be a great trader one day. Okay, next topic. So 560 points. Can that happen? Sure. If Donald goes nuts and the China deal goes in the back burner, which is going to be the worst thing before Thanksgiving, we're going to drop 600 points. Okay, next. NASDAQ. This is the chart of the biotechs and the techs, the NASDAQ 100. What's going on here? Well, same crap. It's coming back to retest this level here, 82.18. And hopefully it creates a big W pattern. Maybe not. I don't know. Just showing you guys. Apple. Intraday scalp traders made very decent amount of money, 40%, 45%. I told you guys to buy it at one, went to about 45. And then Apple is actually flat right now. Thanks to our idiots, and the biggest idiot is Marco Rubio, who is the biggest China hater. Marco Rubio. Why doesn't he just uh, try to focus on Cuba, if you ask me? Am I being racist? No, I'm being real. Marco Rubio is a big mouth. Okay? Marco Rubio is just always against everything that's China. Okay, Marco Rubio, why don't you focus on Cuba? Right? If you guys know anything about uh, American politics, uh, I'm sure you guys are American. Uh, maybe you don't follow politics uh, because you're too busy just uh, <clears throat> following sports. Um, find out about Marco Rubio, okay? He's a complete idiot. Lost an election. What, what did uh, Donald call him, um, Dominic, uh, during the elections? Little I don't Rubio. remember. Yeah, I mean, you know, he always has names for... Jeez, uh, why is this not going away? Yeah. Um, yeah, Rubio's like a big mouth. China this, China that, you know? In the meantime, Donald's trying to cut a deal, and Rubio's like um, completely uh, big mouthing, doing nothing, sitting there. In the meantime, he's uh, bankrupt by minus 200,000 bucks. That's a fact. Anyway, one of our biggest winners tonight. Uh, I mean, yesterday on the earnings calls was um, uh, Target. We bought the calls around two. Oops, sorry. Just showing you actual trading stuff, all right? Calls around two. Could have bought one, right, guys? Went to 13. So $200 will be $1,300. If you put in $2,000, it'll be $13,000. I'm not going to bother asking who bought it or not. Because if you guys did, you'd be smiling. You wouldn't give a crap about what's happening about the U.S.-China deal. That's how traders think. All right? That's how traders think. All you need is one or two things that work out. Target worked out too. I mean, the Target, uh, Lowe's. You have to be quick in selling it. It opened at 7. Options were at 2. It opened at 7. That's 350%. Higher, and then around the day went higher, and then close, and then went up as high as 13. So you keep on missing these big ER trades, the baskets. You can't buy one at two because you're too scared to lose 200 bucks. Is it my problem? I don't think so. I'm just being straightforward, like I am. Like they say, in life, you want to be really successful. You don't give it who who likes you or not. We have had a lot of these movers. Okay, a lot of these movers. And we have had a bunch of losers on the options trade, but those losers lose 100%. And this winner goes up 
600%. So you lose, you could only lose 100% in an option. If you bought an option at two, the most you can lose is down to zero. So two means that, you know, you bought one call at two, that's 200, but most you can lose is 200. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Fine. You want to be a millionaire, you worry about like uh, losing 200 bucks. Okay, good luck. But here you can, it's endless. It can go up 600, 700%, right? But here, the most you can lose is two. Get that through your head. Tap your head with your forefinger and say, oh, oh I never thought about that. Okay? This is not watching the NFL games and your favorite games and betting on FanDuel and DraftKing and this and that and losing money and making money and giving all the players all the money so they can make the baller style $40 million a year while you stay poor. This is you taking control of your own destiny. Okay? Keep on feeding your favorite LeBrons of the world. I love LeBron. He's a great guy. Okay? So that they're making a hundred million a year, while you do not want to bet two hundred bucks on a call. End of story. I think I made my point. Okay. All right. Next up, people ask me about Amazon. Amazon's been acting. Amazon's under pressure for two reasons, and I mentioned that on a video. Uh, on a webinar I did with the, that new member who actually bought KRTX. Actually, why don't you show you KRTX? And you can say, oh, next time. There is no next time, ladies and gentlemen. It's only now. So the freaking stock, I told you guys to buy it at 54 bucks. Couldn't you have bought one share? And it still looks like it's going to go higher. So I told you guys to buy it because I saw it on one of my paid services that I pay for um, at 54. Okay. Where does the stock go to? 152. My first lot sell, and I bought a little. I wish I'd bought 500 shares. Then I really put you guys in boot camp that you guys would cry. All right? Seriously, because all of you need to cry a little bit sometimes for all the garbage, all the great trades that you don't take and just keep on making excuses. Okay, 152. So if you bought 10 shares at 540 bucks, kindergarten, okay, you would be selling it at 1000 Five hundred and twenty dollars. I think you'd be pretty happy. I think you'd love to buy Tiffany's, which is going to get bought out with next stock we're going to look at, which hopefully all of you own, because Tiffany will get bought out, in my opinion. And the stock is up five bucks after hours, with futures down fifteen. Off the support levels I just showed you. So this 540 bucks, okay? This, so you'd make a thousand bucks. I think you take your loved one, whoever it is, boy, girl, dog, cat. Um, I have my beautiful wife, and I have six. Pat, pets so i would take that thousand bucks and just spread it spread the wealth out there give them all the expensive treats they want and if you put a little bit more you make a lot more so here's another stock the krtx so when i put those spec trades out there ladies and gentlemen stop over analyzing or so stop analyzing because analysis Analysis, paralysis is the biggest mistake all of us make, including me 
and more so including you guys, who are always analyzing things. Just freaking take the trade. And this is a damn good looking chart to start with. This company has no options, has a very low float amount of shares that you can buy out there. No wonder it went crazy like that. And for re good reason, schizophrenia. What's schizophrenia, Dominic? Crazy. You mean me or you? <laughs> probably me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably me. Yeah, schizophrenia is a serious disease that afflicts a lot of people for no fault of their own. And these guys have a cure for that. We have the best biotech companies in the world that are coming up with cures for the most fatal diseases of the world. Not the trading disease, I mean the real disease. See, it's the first world company coming up because of anything, I'm putting it out there and you guys don't buy one share. I mean, come on. Who's crazy? You and the traders who didn't buy it. Not the patients. The stock is going to go to $200. And they'll probably get bought out. So wake the F up. House, Dominic, and anybody else who's going to listen out there. Stop being such a wuss. One share. That other new member, he just bought a couple of shares. Less than 10. Let's put it this way. But he wanted to be in it. He is a better trader than all of you put together because he had the balls to do it. He said, let me try it. It's not the money that you trade. It's the mental capital that you have. I said it, not Tony Robbins, all right? The stock is going to 151. It is going to go to 151 literally by the end of this month, if not end of this week. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. What's your floor? And you can only buy stock. There's no options. I bet you Chicago Board of Options Exchange is going to issue options on this stock because it's so hot. What's the lower end of the range? 82. Okay. Next stock, Apple. So what the hell is happening with Apple? Nothing. It's going to go higher. What did Donald say when he went to Apple's, uh, anyone who saw my tweet? And House, I'm going to ask you that, brother. Okay. Good to see you, House. I actually know how House looks like. He's a very handsome fella. So, uh, so House. Does Apple chart looks like it's going to totally crack? Okay. No. What's your overall? I mean, looking at this, um, my my theory is, um, yes, uh, pullback in action. Uh, Trump is totally, you know, one thing I'll tell you about, uh, hold on, I got to eat my, one of my crackers, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had my wheat crackers, you know, my healthy uh, non-gluten, non-carb crackers. Okay, so there we go. Um, so worst case uh, scenario for Apple is 258. There's a gap here. Okay, two. Yeah, 257. 
around there. And Apple's fine. Every fund manager wants to buy Apple. Remember, we don't control Apple. Apple is the largest multi-trillion dollar company, I mean, trillion plus dollar company in the world. Here's something simple. And, and again, I suffered through these volatility things and I lose money and I know. So I'm sharing something simple with you. If you want to be really simple about trading the markets, the, trade the ultimate stocks that move the market. Apple, SPY. IWM is a nice distress play. It was actually positive very nicely, right, Dominic? Because you were in it, right? The Russell 2000? I was in it, yeah. Yeah, and it's still looking good based on the charts because that's a laggard that still hasn't caught up to new highs. So forget IWM. Somebody wants to be really simple and say, Frank, how can I make money in the market? I'm going to simply say, well, first, hit yourself on the head, get drunk, and trade. Just kidding. In the meantime, trade Apple, not Netflix, not Facebook, not Google, not Roku. Those are nuts. Apple is steady. And trade the SPY. Trade Boeing. Boeing short looks amazing. Amazing. The next thing we'll look at. So Apple is the great. Apple calls are cheap. We buy them at one at the bottom. They're at buck forty-four at the close. I originally bought them at two dollars and three cents. I bought a lot more at one. I'm green. Hallelujah. And you can trade it during the day. You can trade it on a swing trade. Stick to Apple. I'm gonna put that down. Uh, how said pullback makes sense? Yes, it does, sir. Um, so trade Apple. By the way, just so you all know, as you are all going to be listening to this, House and me have been friends. He's been a very loyal follower and a member. Um, and he's seen a lot of stuff that I've done. And thank you, House, for your support. So, um, so this Apple, Boeing, giving you steady stock that you can trade. Real companies, not the drug-infested biotechs like, whoa, go nuts. We got a couple of buy. We got Medco, which is ultimate beat. I'm going to show you have the Medco chart. We're up what, like 26% two days ago? My calls went from three to nine bucks. BA, SPY. That's it. Put this in your roster. Specialize in the three musketeers. How about that? As a newer trader or somebody who's not that doesn't have that much time or somebody who wants to really learn about options trading and the market specialize on these three apple boeing spy end of story don't get life over complicated okay that's it the three musketeers yes amd looking great <clears throat> absolutely uh, house. I'll look at it. So let's uh, skim through a couple of charts requests. So I'm going to show you Medco. Medicines company is a cancer research company and it is sick. I told you guys to buy it at 56, 57, 54. And this is what it did. It just jumped up frigging one day. I didn't tell you guys to buy it at 30 because I didn't even know it existed at 30. Um, hello. Can you wake up and smell the coffee, all of you? Remember, don't always follow and trade stocks that everybody else is looking at. Follow some that nobody's looking at. I mentioned that in my previous webinars. When was the last time anyone heard about Medco or Medicines Company on CNBC? Other than the day it went up 26%. None of you. None of you. Look at this chart. The stock, I told you guys to buy it around 51, 46, blah, blah, blah. I wish I had a lot more. I'm an idiot. I have like little bits that escaped, so 46. Yeah, around 46, I told you guys to buy it. 50, I told you about it by, boom, it goes up to 75. The stock is getting get bought at. Novartis is looking at them. 
And if they do get bought out, what do you think they're going to get bought out at 75? No. Take a guess where they're going to get bought out. House and my good friend Dominic. If they do get bought out, where do you think they're going to get a premium? What price are they going to get bought out at? Got to be over a hundred. Yes, they're pretty good. You must have worked on Wall Street. Well, let's put it this way. I would think, uh, no, seriously, I would think like somewhere around 90 bucks to 100 bucks. Yes, you're right, sir. Judging by the webinar participation are in the bunkers. Yeah, most people are in the bunkers. Webinar participation has been low, but webinar listening uh, house. Good uh, good uh, comment, sir. Um, actually, I look at the analytics on Google. Um, lots of people listen to it, but they don't. they are not participating in the webinars. Which is uh, which is good. Yes, 90 to 100. It certainly will. So why don't we have a few calls at 80, like I told you guys to buy it, December 20th, January 20th, uh, January 17th. Buy it. Leave it in there. It's a real deal company. When a stock goes up like this, let me just tell you something very simple about trading. When a stock goes up like this and creates a bull flag, what do you think is happening? Just the way Tiffany which we're going to look at next. So Metco, buy, keep. Don't go nuts. Well, actually, go nuts. I don't care. But then you'll be really rich. Um, so here's another bull flag. Stock is right now, right here. It actually hit 130, Dominic. Dominic's in the Tiffany's because he loves to buy his wife beautiful Tiffany diamond rings. So Dominic is uh, <clears throat> right there. Diamonds are forever, Dominic, right? Always. Always. There you go. A happily married man. I like that. Um, so, Tiffany's going to get probably bought at 150. It will. Louis Vuitton, Moe Hennessy, LVMH. The rapper's delight. Bull flag. That's all I'm going with. I don't care if it goes up one or two bucks. As long as it doesn't break the bull flag range, which is below 118, I'm fine. And tonight, it's here. Right there. So why not buy a couple of calls? Leave it in there. These are the juicers in your portfolio. Not the active trading ones we have to scratch our heads on and like, oh my God, where is the fix going? Like this and that. All right, Tiffany. Show you Tiffany, Medco. Let's look at Netflix. Hot on Netflix. They said, oh, Disney's coming out. Netflix is going to die. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Is Disney going to show the deuce about the porn industry in New York City back in the 70s? No. <laughs> Netflix is a different ball game. The great shows on Netflix, the great content Disney can't replicate. Disney is about kids and family. And discovery and Mars and stuff, which I love astronomy. You think they can coexist side by side? Come on, think common sense, not the BS frigging analysts on Wall Street. So here is where Netflix is going. Told you guys to buy the rising. I mean the 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 wedge breakout around two sixty. This uh, Netflix is going to go to three forty. Netflix is going to go to 320. It's going to go to 310. It is a beautiful W pattern. Look, this was the fallout after earnings. This is what it's doing. It's going to hit the magenta line, which is the 150 day moving average on the daily at 321. Play it. End of story. Already showed Apple. Um, AMD, AMD. Sorry, sorry, house. Sorry. AMD, I'm an idiot. I should have been in that stock. I mean, we traded that stock way back. Uh, house remembers that. But I kind of put it out of my calendar. For what? Because I'm a goddamn idiot. Look at that stock. Is there, like, anything to say? 
it's on a complete breakout. Yes, it'll be down three cents, four cents. The stock is going to 45, 47. That's all you got to know. This is a chart that was uh, devised a long time ago, like this. Simple line. I'm no genius. I'm an idiot. All right? I'm a New York, New Jersey idiot. I'm clueless. Uh, no, I'm clueless eight. I'm sorry. It's going to 45. Look at this. What are we overthinking this? What was I overthinking? I am so wrong on this. I should have been there way early. Way early. This is beautiful. And somebody says, well, why do you so think it's so beautiful? Well, not just the externals. It's not just about the externals of a woman or a man or whoever you love. It's the internals, the person you can wake up with, have a cup of coffee, have a breakfast, have a good conversation, go out to lunch with. So let's look at the internals of your spouse, of your partner. Internals look great. Whoops. And this is what is crazy. Oh, my God. Even at this level, look at what the stoves or MACD is doing. The MACD doesn't get overbought till it gets like this. Are we there yet? That's one bullish chart. I'm serious. How's does that uh, make sense? A few things uh, explained. Dominic, what other stock are we looking at? Oh, TTD. This monster will. <laughs> I keep on saying this because I'm. I'm in Hey, listen, I'm an ex-Wall Street guy. We like to talk big, right? It's getting bought out. Futures bouncing. Holy crap. How's my man? You're my lucky charm. Look at futures bouncing. Let's take a look. Thank you, House, for reminding me. Whoa, nice. So I bet you there's a headline that I'm going to look at in a minute. Donald has to win the election. He's not going to win the election by dumping the Chinese. Okay? He dumps the Chinese, agricultural sector is dead. And uh, you honestly think the farmers are going to say, oh, I love Donald's little orange patch, and I'm going to vote for him. They're, they're going to say, F you, I'm going to vote for the other guy who basically wants to help us. That's American politics. So let's take a look at futures. Wow, this makes me happy. Whoa! Are my charts good or what? Look at the double bottom. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Double bottom, we talked about. W formation, going straight up here by the open. Maybe. Well, futures are really bouncing. And we'll find the news when we look on Bloomberg or CNBC or Business Insider or any of the paid services that I use. So that's the way it happens. So let's take a look. Uh, and thanks for the reminder uh, as I was explaining all of the stuff. So this is a W formation. See? Oversold, overbought. That's all you need to know. And if we slipped and slided, we hit at the lower end of the channel and we would bounce from here. Things. Look, markets have a predestined level that it wants to go to, up or down. So when I structured the charts, this is the most important thing I'll say before I uh, close the session. Um, most important thing is those levels will be engaged. I'm not talking about longer term uptrends or downtrends at this point. I'm talking about trading levels which will be engaged. If we slip, we'd have come down here, we'd have still bounced. And then that bounce could have been sold. So we shall see. So guys, um, short and sweet, on to the point. Um, that's all. There's a lot of stuff I can cover. Uh, but so far, so good. Going to Thanksgiving, think about the spiritual things. Think about the holiday things. Think about the few things that you like in life. Hopefully you like your family. If you don't, that's like the rest of America. I'm just kidding. Um, don't be the Kardashians, okay? Um, so the point is... Um, Stick to the charts, stick to the seasonality, 
stick to the fact that President Donald Trump will sign the phase one deal, in my opinion. I say will, W-I-L-L. Stop believing in the garbage that comes out of the fake financial media. I am really, I hate the word fake media, but I think the news, the, the, new, uh, the news media is not fake. You know, that's journalism. Just because you criticize somebody, you can't call them fake media. I disagree with Donald on that, okay? Uh, it's just the way it is. It's a democracy. You can say whatever you want. So the bottom line is that the financial media loves to create sensations. And sensation is, oh, that's nice. That's exciting. Uh, the sensation is to create like, oh, China's not talking. Remember, we never heard, I repeatedly said, unconfirmed rumors. We have gone through this so many times. Stick to the charts. This is good. Nothing broke on the one hour. Um, this is good. That's your NASDAQ futures. You know, we know what the bottom is. And uh, that's it. Let's deal with it tomorrow when we wake up. But selective positions, like the ones that I showed you, the TIF, the Medcos, I uh, didn't get a chance to, oh, the Boeings, I uh, didn't get a chance to show you ABMD, ABiomed, AYX, GH, the healthcare company, and the HMOs, UNH, HUM, ALNY that we bought today on an FDA approval. Make money. Let's not always keep on worrying about what's going to happen that comes out of Donald's mouth or comes up about the Chinese being stubborn. Let's just focus on what we do here. Fast trading the Roku's, swing trading the TTDs, swing trading the SQs, swing trading the NOW service now, making tons of money on Target, still going higher. New uh, positions like NTNX, SPLK. Chipotle that still wants to go to 900, in my opinion. NVIDIA, fast trading, but still a great swing trade. Still China dependent, just so you know. AMD wants to make newer highs. Let's just go with that. House just posted something. Vice Premier, optimistic on deal. I'm sure there'll be other headlines to work through. Yeah. Oh, thank you, House. Uh, the Vice Premier, that's Li Hao. I think I said his name right, um, is basically saying he's optimistic. Of course, they're optimistic. And I appreciate you putting that out. How's what you see that? What uh, headline? Didn't get a chance to see it. I mean, what news outlet? Let me just check on my side. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, live Squawk on Twitter. Thank you, House. Thank you for following that and the great information you provided. So Vice Premier Liu Hao, who is the chief negotiator, thinks optimistic deal. Look, the Chinese in some ways, like President Trump has said many times, because he's done billions of dollars worth of business on his real estate side. Chinese billionaires own half his property, okay, in between the Russians and uh, the Turkish, just so you guys know. The Turks are their biggest, uh, one of his biggest investors in his companies. Um, he knows very well. They're very smart. He said it too. They are. They're not like stupid, off the cuff, gunslinging bozos like us, all right? We are. We're the smartest nation in the world, but we're a bunch of idiots half the time, more than half the time. So that's the way it goes. Um, all right, guys. God bless. Everything looks good. Features are down about five and a half. Uh, wow, that's a big reversal. Let's take a look at it before we go. Whoops. Are these charts good or what? I think they're pretty damn good. I'm actually pretty impressed with my charts. Look at that. Double bottom. This is where we're going before the next sell comes. Exact pattern symmetry as here. Little bull flag. Once we get up here, we'll get a bull flag. Don't freak out. Then we go higher. Good night, guys. God bless you all. You guys are the best. Keep true to say, make true to say trading great again. Get referrals. 
click every single like on Instagram and on the Twitter feed so I get some feedback. That's all I need to know. God bless you all. Make some money. Make a lot of money. Good night.